Hey guys, I'm Mikey back here for video guys. Welcome back to another episode of my NFL New Flash series. I do this every single Saturday, guys, giving you the most up-to-date information on all NFL news. Sorry I'm not showing my face today. It's just because I'm under the weather and I don't want to, you know, discuss you guys. So again, I normally show my face and I normally do face cam for this video, but I decided this week, you know, just to give that a little bit of a break. Tell me down below, do you like face cam? Do you not like face cam? I love to hear it. So let's get started by the way, guys. Kirk Cousins to the Jets. Now, obviously, there's nothing confirming this. All it is is pretty much the Jets said that they uh, they match any offer for Kirk Cousins up to $60 million. So it's possible Kirk Cousins could be heading to the Jets this offseason for $60 million. Very interesting. It'll be fun to see what ends up happening with him and how, you know, this all ends out. But... To be honest, I mean, the Jets all desperate for a quarterback, and Kirk Cousins would be one of the best options. So, not surprising to see Kirk Cousins, you know, obviously hitting the market, and a lot of teams being very, very interested in him. Definitely going to be interesting to see where he ends up landing. Does he end up landing in Denver? Does he end up landing in New Jersey or New York, technically? Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where he ends up going. But... We do have a very important event coming up very, very soon, and that's going to be the NFL Combine. Now, the NFL Combine players will arrive at the facility on uh, this upcoming Friday, so the 27th. And then, of course, they'll go ahead and get weighed in and everything will happen like that. And then they'll go ahead and start the Combine workouts, which will be March 2nd to March 5th. So about a three-day process where they go ahead and, you know, get uh, they show the best of the best to NFL teams to kind of make them want to draft them a little bit more so again every nfl team has a draft board of players they want to have on their team in the upcoming draft this the combine pretty much just dictates if they should draft the player or they should not and also how do they look so again that will be march 2nd to march 5th of course we have the they are arriving the facility and being weighed in on the 27th Next one we have here is going to be Cowboys are going to be tagging Demarcus Lawrence if they do not come up with a deal. So if they do not come up with an agreement to, you know, have a contract with them. And he's like, you know what? I'm just going to leave. I don't want to be a Cowboy. We couldn't come up with a deal. They're going to tag him. So pretty much the whole idea of Javaris Landry with the Miami Dolphins. You not hear that, guys? Pretty much Landry was going to leave the Dolphins. And the Dolphins were like, nope, we're just going to tag you. And you're not allowed to leave. Um, the same concept is going to happen, it looks like, with the Cowboys with DeMarcus Lawrence. If he does go ahead and say, you know what? We can't come up with an agreement. I'm going to leave. They're going to say, nope, you're not leaving. You're going to get tagged. And you're going to stay here. So... Same concept is happening with Demarcus Lawrence, and again, as I said, Javaris Landry over this past week, he was a lot of people suspected he was going to go to Baltimore and become a Baltimore Raven, and then he got tagged at the last second by the Dolphins, mainly probably because he was going to go ahead and leave. They could not come up with an agreement, so because he was going to leave, they tagged him. Same thing is going to happen most likely with Mr. Demarcus Lawrence. Next news we have is going to be Martellus Bennett wants to play another year. So, Martellus Bennett, who I believe when he was with the Packers two years ago, he was actually going to go ahead and retire because he had a really bad injury. And now he wants to play another year. So, will that be under New England? We'll have to wait and see. But it looks like he will become a... Again, we'll keep on playing, which I love to see players that never give up. Obviously, the Ravens have a player in Benjamin Watson who looks like he's going to retire. But, I mean, that man's been playing for freaking ever. I mean, I remember back in the day when he was with the Browns. And now, of course, he's with, he was with the Saints and now the Ravens. So, it's going to be interesting to see what ends up happening to Martellus Bennett. But, I'm hoping the best for him. I mean, definitely, hopefully he can stay away from injuries at his age, injuries pop up left and right so hopefully everything works out for him but i love to see how the story ends when it comes to him so next and uh second to last story we have here is gonna be the bills are gonna are planning to keep tyrod taylor so a lot of rumors you know last season especially with you know the bills and how they started nathan peterman in week 12 against the chargers i believe it was week 12 they started him and it was like they gave up on tyrod right they didn't give a crap about tyrod they were like whatever tyrod taylor 
you're not a future. We're going to go and see what we have Nathan Peterman. Well, then Tyrod Taylor was put in the following week, and he led them to the playoffs where they lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars. But he did lead them to the playoffs. It looks like there is some kind of loyalty. Like, the 10% loyalty, it looks like that, that the Bills are having the Tyrod because he did get them to the playoffs for the first time in 20 years. So, it looks like they are not planning on moving on from Tyrod at the moment. It looks like they won't cut him. Maybe they'll trade him. They'll have to, we'll have to wait and see what they end up doing. But if they do keep him, that would be because he got them to the playoffs for the first time in 20 years. So... It's going to be interesting to see what happens, but I mean, I love Tyrod personally. He's one of my favorite quarterbacks, so I'm hoping they don't cut him because I believe he can do wonders. And definitely in that on that team with a really good running back, he's a mobile quarterback that needs to scramble a lot, and having a running back like Shady McCoy will propel his game 10 times. Now, if Shady leaves, maybe that would be a difference that I could see, you know, saying Tyrod should leave too. But having a halfback like Shady, having a quarterback like Tyrod, Buffalo, you need to fix it yourself, okay? There's not really anything I don't think that they're doing wrong. I think it's more or less you need to fix something yourself. If you can't win with those two guys on your team, there's something an issue with the coaching staff more than the players. Also, please, please, Buffalo, get some wide receivers. I mean, you guys got rid of Sammy Watkins, right? Um, did you guys... I might be completely having a brain fart here. Did you guys get Calvin Benjamin? Where's the, where did Calvin Benjamin go? I know he left. He is with Buffalo. Okay, so you guys have Calvin Benjamin, which is a six foot five target. Get some more receivers in him, okay? Get some more guys. Make that team a lot more... I know that team is a run-first team with Shady McCoy and Tyrod Taylor, of course. But the fact of the matter is, you guys just need to go ahead and bulk sure that team around Tyrod. Give him options and make it so that teams are unpredictable. You are sorry, you are unpredictable to teams. The biggest thing about a mobile quarterback, and the most beautiful thing is, if you can have talent around a mobile quarterback, he's the most deadliest player in the NFL. Because you have the Cam Newtons of the world, where if you give him, you know, good receivers, teams can't stack the box and wait for Cam Newton. You know, he when he had Steve Smith and he had all these receivers, it's hard to stop him because he can throw it to, oh, if you want to stack the box against me, I'll dot you up down the field. If you want to, you know, play max coverage, I'll run myself. And it's very, very dangerous. So if they can work something out and give Tyrod some really good options, Tyrod Taylor can be one of the best quarterbacks. Just give him options, give him players. Shady McCoy, great, amazing running back, perfect fit for Tyrod. Get some good receivers there other than Calvin Benjamin and you will be in works. Another thing is I really want them to dra get a tight end. Maybe draft a tight end, pick up a tight end free agency because the one thing I know about Tyrod is he doesn't utilize his tight ends as much as he should and I feel like if you give him a good enough tight end and he can work some chemistry with them, he can definitely do wonders. Last but not least, guys, we have some more t uh, franchise tagging issues, which we're going to have a lot of franchise tags being thrown left and right, guys. Over this next couple, you know, uh, weeks, not even a couple weeks, probably like a week and a half, until free agency, which I believe is about three weeks away, in that time period, we're going to see teams left and right throwing franchise tags at players that they want, you know, either to trade, keep, cut, whatever may be the case. They're going to be franchise tagging people, so... This is actually not really anything surprising, but it looks like the Rams are going to franchise tag LaMarcus Joyner. There's a lot of rumors of them either franchise tagging LaMarcus Joyner or franchise tagging Sammy Watkins. But it looks like the survey says that it's going to be Joyner over Watkins. Now, I really honestly, I don't think this is anything unexpected. And it looks like we got a news update currently. Wow, during during this part, oh, during this uh, video, guys, Marcus Peters is going to be a Ram. It looks like the Kansas City Chiefs have traded Marcus Peters to the Rams. Yep. So the sources say, literally, guys, I'm not even kidding with you right now. This is being recorded on uh, yesterday, Friday. And let me go ahead and show you guys. This is actually live update four minutes ago of the recording of this video. Very, very good timing, by the way. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and show you. We have 
Kansas City Chiefs have traded LaMarcus Joyner to the Rams. So, let me go ahead and... Oh, LaMarcus Joyner. Marcus Peters to the Rams. Chiefs have unexpectedly traded Marcus Peters to the LA Rams. Sources tell teams are in final stages of talks and bearing unexpected snag. The trade expected to be agreed upon as early as today. Guys, so it looks like... Wow, as I'm recording this video, a huge update comes in and LaMarcus Joyner is... Um, Marcus Peters is going to the Rams. Uh, LaMarcus uh, Joyner, though, again, is expected to be franchise tagged over Sammy Watkins. I don't know anymore because apparently this happens. And this is actually going to be huge. So, you know, now will he still be franchise tagged? I think so. Uh, LaMarcus Joyner is a great cornerback. But now they have LaMarcus uh Marcus Peters there too. Tell me down below what you guys think. Very awesome that we had a, literally a live update during this video of something happening. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.